Hello, hello. So today we are going to talk about 10 good businesses that you can start with 5,000 and you're going to make at least 2,000 each and every day as your profit. In case you are new here, my name is Doreen and this is Doc Vlogs. In Doc Vlogs, we talk about financial matters, right? We tackle anything about real estate, loans, Anywhere that you can just work on any website and make money each and every day, the best way to invest and anything that revolves finance. So in case this is the kind of videos that you have been looking for, just make sure you're subscribing to this channel. The subscription button is on on your right or your left depending on what you're watching me with and let's sell this journey together so the reason why i always tell you to subscribe or like this video is simply because whenever i'll do another video or whenever i do any further future videos youtube will always send you a notification and you're going to be notified so that you watch any of my videos in case you're a returning subscriber karibu so let's jump into today's topic. So what are these businesses or which businesses can you start with less than 5,000 or 5,000 and make a daily profit of 2,000? So in case you see me looking down, it's because I have a diary with me where I always write any point that I've researched so that I may not miss on anything that I want to tell you guys. So the first trending business that is doing so well in Kenya is perfume refill business, right? So I know you're asking yourself, what are these refill perfumes? So these are oil-based perfumes that have been introduced in Kenya, whereby it's most economical. And we know that everyone wants to smell good. Everyone wants to look good, right? So there are these perfumes that have been imported from France and so many people are using them, right? The small bottle costs you seven bob when you're going to buy them from wholesalers. And every time you're going to buy, you can never buy less than three ml of that perfume. So if you're going to buy them at a wholesale price of 21 shillings and resell it at 150 you can just imagine the margin of profit that you can make right so if you've been looking forward for any business that you can start you can start with refill perfumes the first stock that you can get is from 3000 and that's what you can start with the the target market or those people you can sell to are students because students really like to buy this perfume so if you're near students or if you are also a student and you're looking for a side hustle to do you can always do refill perfumes so point number two selling crocs we know that crocs are the trends right now everyone is wearing crocs but the difference is that they are wearing the normal crocs that we see everywhere right so you can always start a crop business with less than five thousand and you add value to them just look at the market Kamokonji market, you can always go and buy crocs at 160 bob, the plain ones, and change them by adding value. You can always decorate crocs. You can watch my video, my previous video, I've shown you how to decorate crocs and make profit, right? So you can always buy beads and decorate these crocs the way you want them. You just add value to what is trending right now and make the value of the, those crocs high right or rather raise the price after you have added value to them so crop business is usually doing so well in kenya because we can see even in rural areas so many people are wearing crocs this means that you can start this business and it's going to do well as long as that you're going to add value to it so business number two number three is fruits so you know guys that fruits are usually very expensive when you you cite them anywhere that is also at a higher price location, right? What do I mean by that? Let's say, for example, you want to sell this uh, juice, canned juice, or um, these juices that are usually blended and sold in a tumbler. I really don't know the exact name to call them. So if you go to a certain places like Runa, you can get that that fruit, uh, that, that canned blended juice is, sell, is being sold at at least 180 shillings, something that you just... Um, bought one one uh, banana one mango one you see those fruits very cheap you can get them at Gidorai 45 and the location of where you're selling these fruits at will really matter so you can always go to town or uptown places you just and the good thing about fruits is that you go you you you, you just need a location but uh, you're not going to pay the rent for it you can just go to an open place open market and start selling even if you see that um 
there is a niche where there are students because student, we always eat we always love um taking fruits and students usually do that a lot so target market for fruits perfumes and these crocs are these students because they will always buy from you a student will lack uh, money to to take food but you can see them just taking uh fruits and stuff so you can always find a nice place an open market it's not a must to have a rent uh, a rental place but even if you have a rental place it's also nice you can always go ahead and do fruits so fruits can do so well in kenya just find a perfect location a visible location where people are flowing or there is flow of people so uh number four is food or fries business so let me give you an example let's say for those people who work in offices in a town or those areas, Upper Hill or anywhere, just working in offices and you can just visit them with your tea or nice fried nomas. Tell them that uh, today I'm going to sell this. This is what I do. I sell pilau. I sell tea. You can try today at 30 Bob. But if you like it, you can take my number and tomorrow I'll come with the same product or the same tea or uh, pilau and I'll sell it at 50 bob. So you can always market yourself like that. Just wear those nice aprons, wear that, um, the kofias, right? And enda, enda kwezima ofisi tao, jaribu your best, enda watembele, enda kwa masoko. Like you can never go wrong with food because we need food to eat, uh, we need food to survive every day, right? Everyone is doing food, so just find a way that you can present yourself so well and market it. And imagine what, you can just be cooking in your house and taking the food to those people out there can go to unenda kwa soko unauzia watu wa soko during lunch because breakfast definitely ya watu wa soko wametoka home kama wamekunywa breakfast right so you can visit them during lunch hours you sell pilau you sell this any food that you can just think about if it's cheap or you can always try um citing cheap whenever you see there is an open location like at your centers in town but these businesses can always uh, go well because a bag of potatoes goes a, a full sack of potatoes goes for 1300 right now so many people like um are doing this business because the potatoes are uh, lowered in price and so many people are buying it so it's easy right now to start such a business so if you're looking forward to start any business like food you can never go wrong with food as long as you're clean and you know how to market yourself you can join these facebook groups and take nice photos of what you have cooked if it's fried um if it's fish if it's chapatis you can take nice photos post them and you tell them that you can deliver anywhere you go to supermarkets and buy these uh packing plates then you will just serve them and make sure that you're getting a profit that you deserve because of fair and stuff right yeah so uh sorry guys so number five business that you can start with five five thousand and below is thrifted things right we have seen so many people selling thrifted things from bags from dresses from children's clothes baby clothes everything right but you, if you want to start such a business right now, just look for what is trending, like denim jackets, like these ones and mummy jeans are really trending right now. So with thrifted things, just take advantage of what is trending and you can make a lot of money. Also, thrifted things will also matter with uh, weather. If it's time for raining, you can always sell trench coats. If it's not raining, it's then you can sell tops. You can always sell denim jackets because um, anyone can buy anytime, whether it's sunny or it's windy or it's raining, right? So se selling denim jackets and uh, mummy jeans are what is trending right now. And you can always try. Baby clothes will always be in market because babies or newborns are always born and People will buy baby clothes. So those are just uh, some few of what you can do. You can also sell thrifted handbags. They also go well. So if you want to check on that and if you want to know where you can get good bells, you can always comment down below because I, also, I have contact of suppliers who can do bells for you. Actually, number one, right, breeded, first breed uh camera right so you can always find me on my comment section just comment and i'll tell you where to get these things so number six is selling earrings so i'll send you to a specific place when you go to audion cinema in nairobi town there is a place called or a street called dubois right just visit dubois then you'll see perida center Bef after after perida center on your way 
to is it called Nyamakema? You will see uh, there is a station for Ken Silver buses, right? Just next to Ken Silver buses, there is a basement where people sell earrings. A dozen of earrings goes for just 30 shillings. And you see these people uh, who sell earrings in town, 20 bob or 30 bob. Those people have bought, it, have bought a dozen of that packet of that earring or a dozen, which is 12. All of them at just 30 bob and they are selling each at 20, 20. So you can imagine the margin of profit that these people make, right? So earrings is also a good business because you don't also need a location or a place where you're paying rent. You can just buy them, put them in your bag. You can... Um, Sell them in town, any street or your center. You can also sell to your friends, to students. You can take good, nice photos of it and just post them on either your WhatsApp or you can also post them on Facebook groups, right? So business number seven is selling braids. Actually, braids are something that have risen in price right now, but you can always find these wholesalers um, in Perida Center, which is also the same street, Dubois Road. Perida Center, they will get a braids of, uh, from 50 shillings and you're going to resell it at either 75, depending on the type of braid that you want. So if it's angel, if it's um, darling braids, they are always expensive so you can opt for something which is cheap like sister braids or jumbo or stuff right so when you get these braids you can always go and resell it to places that uh those people get make it hard to get the, these things right okay what do i mean you can go to places like keno or machinani unenda machinani na ukushago where people kupata easy braids at a cheaper price unapata ushago braid moja inatoka either at 80 bob or 85 shillings why is that because even the transportation and stuff is hard right but if at your local place i'm a Ushago kwenu unaza fika haraka You can always take braids Unaza chukua wholesale at 50 each Uendo wa uziata na 70 ama 75 bob Making a profit of at least 25 bob per braids Right? In each shop If you supply 40, 40 braids per shop You can imagine 40 times 25 bob That's a lot of money, right? So you can always try on uh, selling braids And if it's good for you Or if you, you have a market or wholesale uh, price or even if you're getting direct supply from the company that will be good for you right so number eight business is selling diapers tissues and stuff i know you know that kind of business where you get uh, wholesale diapers you get tissues you get soaps and you can supplement it also with some biscuits some snacks I've seen so many people doing such a business whereby they put this big umbrella and you just cite it anywhere, maybe uh, along the road or anywhere that there is flow of people, right? You can always do this business even in the evening. It's not a must you wake up and go and start selling them, right? You can start selling it uh, from evening, from 2 to either 3, uh, to either, uh, not 2 to 3, from 2 to 9. Yeah, I've seen someone who is doing that and it's doing so well because a packet of diaper for each day she's getting at least 10 bob right so if a, pack, a packet uh contains maybe 40 that is 10 times 40 which is 400 just a packet of one diaper right so those people who sell diapers tissues and stuff they also make good a, a lot of good profit also soap uh some oil some kunaizi mafta mafta wao uza and where can you get them you see where mtn uh Nissan stops for Moranga at Nyamakema. There is a street on your way to Kamokonji. Those people are wholesalers in those things, right? They also sell stationery, which I'll touch at the end of this video. So if you want tissues at a cheaper price, at a wholesale price, they sell, I, I know, I know you, in your mind you can get the kind of business that I'm talking about. The diapers, the tissues, the soaps, these uh, kind of soaps like sour, like uh, all those, I know you're getting, right? So you can always start such a business with 5,000 and you can make a lot of money. If one packet can give you 400, yes, I know you cannot get to sell the whole packet for that day, but you have so many things that you're selling in the same day. You have tissues, you have soaps you can supplement it with some milk you see right uh yeah so number nine is mali mali business i know you guys know mali mali basins the place this something there are so many things that we need in our kitchen right and those people you can get that someone who opened a mali mali shop will never like close it very soon or uh either in between the five months because they, they usually say that business peaks in either the first five months and or it fades within the first 
five months. So it's up to you to decide if your business is going to go forward or rather if you chose your choice for business idea went wrong, right? So with Mali Mali business is something that you can start, but it also requires um location, a good location where there is flow of people because you cannot go and do Mali Mali at back of your your center because people are not seeing what you have right and with mali mali you can always supplement it or um, rather put something like a pesa in it so that if people are not buying this plastic at least you have something to 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 pay for your rent right that is for someone who is paying for rent but if you're just like uh anyone who goes to kamukonji and takes this thing you can get a full bag of this mali mali it's going for just five thousand right and with that if a basin which costs uh 50 bob at kamukonji you're going to sell it at 150 or 120 it depends right yeah so you can always try this business because it's something that can work really well if you have nice location the last one is stationaries and with stationaries i don't mean these big shops for bookshops and stuff i just mean like um these basic things that students need especially this these students who are in lower primaries or primary schools right you can always cite it in anywhere just to wake up in the morning put your stuff uh anywhere uh, along the road where there is flow of uh, kids going to school they'll always buy pencils they'll always buy rubber they'll always buy books those people those kids who don't have books and stuff but if you have these stationaries just cite them anywhere i know you you get in what i mean the sets the stationaries the efforts the cover books those basic things that um kids need but not the textbooks and stuff so this is the business to go for as long as you're near a school or you're just in a, an open road where kids are passing on your, on their way to school so those are the businesses that you can start with five thousand and this business businesses if you take them serious if they have good like location they can always make you not less than five uh, two thousand as profit every day so just plan well make sure that you come up with a good idea of business that you want to start in between the 10 and make sure that you're planning them well make sure that the location of these businesses because they matter make sure that they are well prepared and you know where the location of this business is going to do right and plan your business well in 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 a way that it's going to make you profit don't just start a business because you want to start a business make sure after you have known the idea of a uh, kind of business that you want to do you come back and plan it plan it the shelves or where you're going to cite it how much do you need for it and stuff right and with that if you want any help right i have a booklet that has more than 15 business ideas i have a book that has more than 15 business ideas right and plan it has been planned and it also has contact of wholesalers which goes for just 200 shillings right so you can always check on me and try on them so until next time let me see you on another one